Michael Church, Crawl Space Ninja. Today I want to talk to you about what are HEPA filters and what is that pesky MERV rating that you see on all those filters when you go to buy them in your local retailer. Stay tuned. If you're new to Crawl Space Ninja, we talk about everything related to indoor air quality, crawl space encapsulation and waterproofing. We hope you'll subscribe to our channel, ring that notifications bell. Also make sure you follow us on Facebook, check out our DIY store and our franchise opportunities. Okay, so HEPA filters are used mainly in uh, indoor air quality, like mold remediation, you know, different things like that. And it is a type of pleated mechanical air filter commonly used in, uh, you know, water damage restoration and, and stuff. And we also use it when we soda blast. We install a uh, HEPA air scrubber is what we call it in the living space of the house. So that way, if any little fine soda or dust or anything like that gets into the space, that it's able to capture that just as a line of defense. But what HEPA stands for is high efficiency particulate filter. And according to the EPA, in theory, they say, a HEPA filter can remove at least 99.97% of dust, mold, pollen, bacteria, and any airborne particulate with a size of 0.3 micron or larger. So why 0.3 micron? Well, a lot of the, uh, the things that we breathe, like for example, there could be dust mites and mold spores floating in the air around me right now, but it's not visible to, to my eyes. So a HEPA filter is designed to even take out those invisible particulates, at least 99.97 of them, up to 0.3 microns because believe it or not, the invisible particulate are the more harmful particulate to your body. Okay, so here's some interesting data. Uh, particles above 10 microns will usually not make it past your trachea or your bronchi, while particles below 10 microns can reach the alveoli. Okay, and then for those of you who don't know, the alveoli is the furthest part of the branches of the lungs where gases are exchanged. So what you want to do is try to keep all of those particulates out of your breathing zone, which is why filtration and purification is so important. So mold spores and dust mites average between 10 and 30 microns in size. To put this in perspective, the eye of a needle is about 1,230 microns. So 60 plus mold spores and dust mites can fit through the eye of a needle it is estimated that dust mite poop is around five microns. All right, so before I move on, I wanna tell you what MERV rating stands for. MERV is the minimum efficiency reporting value and is given to a filter's ability to capture larger particles, usually between 0.3 and 10 microns. For example, the MERV rating of a HEPA filter is 16 or higher, but don't let the MERV rating fool you as to how well it works. Remember I mentioned HEPA is great at catching small stuff but how many of us use a HEPA filter in our HVAC system? As a matter of fact, uh, your HVAC contractor does not want you using even high MERV rating filters. Most of them don't because of the restriction of air. So you can't really put a HEPA rated filter in an HVAC system unless you add some form of high velocity air moving capability that won't tear up that motor because most air scrubbers are between 250 to 1,000 CFM and higher of air. And they have these really loud motors that are designed to suck all of that air through that high efficiency particulate filter. Okay, so most HVAC systems are not designed the same way an air scrubber is. So if you thought you had a HEPA air filter in your HVAC system, you may not. But if you do, I'd really like to know. So please comment down below what kind of HEPA filter you've got in your system. Real quick about air scrubbers, just to give you some data. Most of them are anywhere between $800 and $1,500 online. And even the filter itself, the HEPA filter replacement can be $160 plus just to replace the filter for that air scrubber. So HEPA filters are quite expensive, which is why most homeowners would never consider installing one if they could in their HVAC system. All right, so let's get back to MERV ratings real quick. The furnace filter you purchase for your HVAC system, according to the EPA, a filter with a MERV rating of six will capture particulate between three and 10 microns, which is great. I mean, I think a MERV six rated filter is probably a really good filter to use, but there's a caveat. 
Okay, when you read the rest of what the EPA says about that MERV rating, only it only captures 49.9% of those particles between 0.3 and 10 microns. So even though you're using a MERV 6 filter, which captures, you know, the 0.3 to 10 microns, which is the stuff you want to keep out of your lungs, it really only captures 49 0.9%. So the efficiency of the MERV-6 filter is only half. It's only capturing half of the particles that go through it. Pretty interesting. Plus, the other thing is that filter, it, normally it's cardboard, right? And it sits in a metal frame. Well, how well do you think that cardboard air seals to that metal frame? Okay, so the MERV rating is only as effective as all of the air going through the filter. So if air is bypassing that filter, you may not even be getting 49% of the particles being captured. It may be way less because air is gonna take the path of least resistance just like water does, okay? So if air is able to get around that filter, you're capturing zero particles, like those dust mites and mold spores that I talked about earlier. And those particulate are getting recirculated back into that dirty, dark ductwork that's, that's now probably a food source or ground zero for them to start growing inside the ductwork. And by the way, I did an interesting uh, video about indoor air quality, which I also mentioned when you should get your ducts cleans. I'll put a link to that down below. So you, you got to make sure that you're using a good filter, but even a MERV-6 filter is only capturing 49%. So let's look at some of the other MERV ratings. So a MERV-8 filter, according to uh, the EPA, is capturing 84.9% of the particles as they travel through the filter. And a MERV-12 filter captures uh, 90% and does get below the 0.3 microns, okay? So a MERV-12 filter can capture smaller particles up to 90%, but again, it's putting a huge strain on your HVAC system. So make sure you talk to your HVAC contractor which filter they recommend you use for your particular system. But this is why a lot of ductwork has to be cleaned periodically because even when you've got the best filter installed, a lot of the particles are still bypassing or making its way through those filters and causing the ductwork to get dirty. So here's two tips for you if you wanna to try to keep your ducts cleaner. Number one, I would make sure you invest in air sealing the ductwork. I've done a couple different videos about how you can air seal the cold air return and also the ductwork themselves. I'll put a link to those down below. They're a little bit older, but they're still very effective on showing you how to air seal your ductwork with different types of tapes and, and duct butter and different things like that. But the other thing you could invest in is an ionization air cleaner. So an air purifier that actually adds ions, not ozone, they're two totally different things, but ions to the air because ionization is what causes particles to start joining together, okay? So if you've got a negatively charged dust mite and a positively charged mold spore, they will become attractive and they're no longer 0.3 microns or whatever they were before. The, the more that attract and get together, that clump gets bigger and then that filter that you have installed in your furnace is actually able to capture more of those particles. So make sure you seal your ductwork, get a really good uh, air filter recommended by your AC uh, tech or your AC company and install a air cleaner that also adds ionization and that will help keep your air cleaner. And now I hope you know everything you want to know about HEPA filtration and MERV ratings. I'm Michael Church with Crawl Space Ninja. We hope you make it a happy and blessed day and we'll see you later.